students in today's class we will discuss the uh, preparation of amines okay so in that we will discuss the very important method that is the amylolysis of alkyl halides okay students so you know the amylolysis so in amylolysis process we can use the ammonia okay so in this amylolysis uh, process we can use the alkyl halide or allyl halides okay alkyl halide or allyl halides reacts with ammonia molecule okay this is the, this is one of the type of nucleophilic substitution reaction so in this reaction from this alkyl or aryl halides so the halogen is substituted by the uh, halogen atom is replaced by the amine group okay so uh, just see here how amylolysis process is going on here i am taken the alkyl halide rx rx we can take any alkyl group or any halogens okay so this is alkyl halides it reacts with ammonia molecule ms3 so you know that this ammonia it has a lone pair of electrons so here this ammonia acts as a nucleophile okay so you know that so this nucleophile uh, will attack on this carbon so what happen now then this x where this bond will break okay uh, the x will remove and this whole ammonia molecule going to be attached to this uh, alkyl group so here we will get substituted ammonium salt like this r then this nh3 as it is and then this x and it is here so we can see it is a substituted ammonium salt okay Uh, so this substituted ammonium salt again reacts with strong base that is NaOH. So just see how this reaction will proceed. So here R NH3X. So here NH3 is a plus charge and X is a minus charge. So here we treated with NaOH solution. So students, what happen now when it reacts with the NaOH? So water molecule will remove like this. So how water molecule will remove in this NH3? Uh, three hydrogen is there. So one hydrogen is removed and this four is removed. So this nucleophile will attack with this uh, uh, nucleophile. So this OH minus also acts as a nucleophile. So it can abstract the proton from this NH3. It loses the H2O. Then this Na and this X minus NX. Just see here, I have written minus NX. This Na and this X, NX, and this then one hydrogen from this NH3 and this OH minus H2 will remove. In this way, we will get a one degree amine that is R NH2. Okay, R NH2. Here I have written. Given the uh, lone pair of electrons, so this one degree amine it acts as a nucleophile here. So again, this one degree amine, when treated with alkyl or aryl halides, will get a secondary or tertiary amines. So so this is what one degree amine is primary amine. Just see now how we get the uh, secondary and tertiary amine. Okay, so once so very simple. So again, this uh, one degree amine it acts as a nucleophile. Okay. So it treated with another alkyl halides. So here I have written R X. So you can take alkyl halides or aryl halides. Okay. So again this nucleophile. So it has the lone pair of electrons. So it can uh, attack on this carbon. So uh, what happen now, students? In this case, here also we get one substituted uh, product like this. This R X uh, group going to be attached here. Uh, so just see here. Then this R as it is. Then this N H two and H two. And then this R is attached, and this X I am written in outside the uh, bracket. It is a substituted product. We can say it is intermediates. Again, uh, uh, then this intermediates again treated with NaOH. Okay, sodium hydroxide with a strong base, so we have the Na plus OH minus charge. Okay, students, just see now what happened. So then uh, this Na and this X minus NX is removed. Now clear how NX is removed? This sodium and this. Uh, X minus means any halogens. We get a sodium halides. Okay. So again, then this OH and this H from this uh, group, this hydrogen and this OH group means H2 will remove like this minus H2. Now check it. What remain now? R and H R. R and H R. This is a two degree amine. Now we ask us how we get a two degree amine. So very simple. So primary amine treated with alkyl halides. We will get one substituted product. Again, we will treat it with uh, sodium hydroxide. That is a strong base. We will get a two degree amine. Again, two degree amine. By using this two degree amine, we can prepare the three degree amine. So, how we will prepare this? We can take another alkyl halide molecules, R X. Again, same procedure will going on. So, this uh, nucleophile will attack here. So, one group will attack. We will get substituted product like this. The main thing as it is R N X. Then this R as it is. And this R as it is here, and this X and we done outside the bracket. So here we will get the intermediate product. Okay, now here I will get this intermediate product. Again now students, again we can treat it with NaOH. 
so we can react with sodium hydroxide okay now just see when it reacts with sodium hydroxide to this uh, substituted product now this na and this x minus nx is removed like this just see here this na and this x nx is removed then uh, one hydrogen is here so this hydrogen and this oh group okay this hydrogen and this oh h2 will remove minus h2 and be done then what remain now students here r and r okay r and r is nothing but 3d the amine okay now clear how we get the 3d the amine so now uh, this is what ammonialysis process so in this ammonialysis process we can use the ammonia molecule and alkyl anions and then we will get a 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree amine but what is the disadvantage of this process so in this process what a product will get it is not in pure form because all are mixed 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree all amines are mixed when we can prepare 1 degree amine then it is okay but we, if you want to prepare the 2 degree and 3 degree again whole uh, compound going to be mixed that is a disadvantage you have to remove that uh, uh, all three 2 degree and 3 degree amine by some chemical process now clear students so this is what ammonialysis process so thank you so much so in next class we will discuss the another method to prepare the amines